What's going on everyone? We got a something a little different in the shop. We got a Can-Am Outlander. This is a 2005 model. It's a 400. Uh, customer brought it in. Said he was trying to find his front differential plug to check the fluid in it. And uh, said he was having a hard time finding it. So he brought it in. We've done a couple other things to it. And I just kind of want to go over where you can look for this at. Because it is kind of hidden if you're not really familiar with one of these on where to find it at. So if you're sitting on the machine, go to your right hand side, the front right tire, and behind this brake rotor, you can see right here is the drain plug, or the check plug, excuse me. And what it is, is whenever this thing is rolled, sometimes this brake rotor is in the way. And that's why you couldn't find it. So, we're going to take this out, check it, make sure it's topped off where it's supposed to be, and then reinstall it. Now, right here, y'all can see the reflection of the fluid, and by me shaking it, you can see it sloshing around. This one is full. If it was not to be full, usually what I do is I add 7590 in these synthetic blend for this particular one. Uh, if you're wanting to service this, I've done check the fluid on this. The fluid looks good and clean. Right here's your fill hole. Right over here on the other side, right there, and it's dirty. Right here's where your drain's gonna be at. It's right there, I believe it's an island head. So that's how you'll drain this front differential to service it. So we know our fluid's checked. We done checked it, our fluid looks pretty good and clean. It's topped off. The next thing I like to do before I put these back together, because most of the time I'm the one that serves these for my customers, is I make sure these things are easy to strip out. So I make sure that this is good and clean and that my socket's gonna fit all the way up in there, or my Allen key. Make sure that the little crush washer on it's in good shape so we don't have no leaks. And I just reinstall it. And when you reinstall these, you just want them good and snug. You don't need to put no death grip on them because it's just going to make them harder about coming out. And these, 90% of your plugs are made out of aluminum. And they're going to get dirt and stuff in them. And that's just going to make it easier for them to round off. Okay, so we got our plug in and everything. So if y'all find stuff like this helpful, y'all don't forget to follow us. Check us out on other social media platforms. And don't forget to stay tuned for some more videos. Appreciate y'all watching.